Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam, and here we are discussing about HCM Cloud OTBI reports. And yesterday we had seen how we can get uh, the employee basic details through this reporting tool. So, and today I am going to show you some important and interesting features that we can apply to our uh, generated reports and modify its output based on these features and what uh, features we are going to see in today's session basically filters and prompts so uh, filter if i talk about filter so filter basically a named filter can filter all or some of the analysis that are embedded in a dashboard or analysis that are embedded on the same dashboard page and if I talk about prompts, so prompts are defined at the analysis level in Oracle Analytics Cloud. Users are prompted to enter values for these prompts each time a view is inserted in Smart View. So um, basically, filter. If I talk about filter, so filter means uh, when uh, we generate uh, our when we create our analysis, we can provide uh, some kind of filters like uh, uh, which uh, particular department we want to see, which particular uh, department's employees information we want to see. So based on our filter criteria, it will going to display the output. And uh, Next is prompt. So prompt is basically uh, it's a, a runtime uh, or prompt is basically uh, provide us a runtime or dynamic facility to the users. So whenever we run our analysis, a prompt uh, will gen uh, will going to generate and it will going to ask uh, for some input to the users and based on the input which user has provided, it will display the output. The, so this is basically about filters and prompts uh, and it will more clear to you when we will go to the instance and practically show it. So here, uh, so here I am firstly I am going to show you the requirement regarding filter and prompt. So here we have the requirement to filter OTBI basic employee details report based on the department name containing human resources CA. So, uh, we are going to apply uh, this uh, filter feature in our previously generated report uh, on department name which contains human resources CA. So let's uh, go to the instance and see how do we implement this in our report. So that was uh, the requirement which I had uh, shown you and this is the output of the reports which we are going to generate. So here we can see the department name has been filtered with the human resources CA which we had provided in our filter. So this is basically the reports output. Now let's go to the instance and see how do we do that. So this is basically our OTBI environment and uh, this is our analysis which we had created yesterday so i am just going to simply copy this one and paste it and rename it basic employee details with filter click on ok and open it in the edit mode Whenever we run uh, any particular analysis, by default, it uh, gets open in the results tab. We just go to the criteria tab. And here we are going to apply the filter on the department name. So what we have to do, either we can go, uh, click on this uh, uh, setting icon or we can simply click on this create a filter for the current subject area. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one and select the respective column. Uh, either you can uh, uh, apply your filter on the uh, previously uh, selected output or you can go to the more columns. So I'm going to apply on the department name. Just simply select this one uh, and I'm operator. I'm going to select contains any and here I'm going to select the value for this one, which is human resources CA.
search for it here click on ok ok and then click on the results tab so what will happen the department name contains human resources ca we are going to see only that department details so here you can see save this one just go back to the catalog open it so here we can see the employees information um, for the department human resources ca and if we want to export it in the pdf format or excel format or whatever format we want to keep for this particular analysis we will select that one so i am going to select pdf so one pdf file will get generated click on ok and it will get open in the pdf format so this is about the filters now next we are going to see the prompts right so i am just going to simply copy this analysis paste it rename it open it in the edit mode this time we are going to implement prompt in this analysis so go back to the criteria tab and here we can see all the columns and here we have four tabs third one is prompt go for that one and here we have to click on this new option and click on column prompt and select the department name as we want uh, we want to implement the prompt for the department so contains any same operator i am going to select or uh, click on simply select this is equal to or is in operator and click on ok so here we can see and the drop down is available over here save this analysis save this one and go back to the catalog option and then run the analysis in the open mode so here we can see one uh, prompt will appear whenever we run this particular analysis on which we have implemented the prompt one prompt will going to generate before us and whenever we click on this drop down it will going to display all the values so i am going to click on this search option and provide the name for human resources ca same which we have applied in the filters so click on this one click ok ok then all the department containing human resources ca will going to display us so if we want to export this one we can export it in any format whatever we want to get so here a pdf will get generated so this is about the filters and prompts a very a very thin line of difference between filter and prompt basically filters when we apply filter so it will uh, directly display the output based on our filter criteria which we had provided but if i talk about the prompt so whenever we apply prompt it will provide us the facility at the run time to select uh, whatever uh, in uh, input we want to uh, provide and based on the input which we have provided in our uh, uh, prompt criteria it will going to display the output based on our selection which we had made in the uh, prompt criteria so this is all about filters and prompts in uh, oracle fusion hcm cloud otbi reports and all about today's session we'll continue in our upcoming session thank you everyone for watching